Hi, I'm happy to be here today with Dan Brasiano, author of Modern Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. Dan, it's great to be with you. Thanks for joining me today. No problem. Hi, Kathy. Um, I first wanted to start out, um, most of our audience today knows who you are. They've seen you at the HVAC Excellence Conferences, but if you can just give us a little bit of information about your background as it relates to HVAC. Sure. Well, I started when I was 16 years old uh, in high school, actually. I was fortunate enough that the school district that I belonged to or that I lived in um, had a career preparation center. So you went three hours a day, five days a week for two years, and they offered an HVAC and refrigeration curriculum. So uh, I got to high school and decided I wanted to go into refrigeration, air conditioning, HVAC. Um, and I started going to classes as a, as a young buck. I learned a lot and uh, coincidentally, the text that they used at the school was modern refrigeration and air conditioning. And my father was the author. So uh, a lot of the kids used to kid me about that I had the answers to the tests, but uh, my, my father never gave me the answers. At any rate, um, after that, uh, my father really wanted me to um, go to college and get a degree in engineering because I grew up uh, watching him write the book with Andy Althaus and Carl Turnquist, who were the original authors. They were all HVAC educators, and uh, they started in 1931 with the first really comprehensive refrigeration book. It was called uh, Gas and Refrigeration. Um, so after that, I um, started my own little company. They had an apprenticeship program at uh, the Career Prep Center during the summers. They'd set you up with jobs. I used to do uh, installs of residential units, about two units a day. I thought, well, at some point I got to break off on my own. So I started DB Refrigeration, which was a really good lesson in uh, how to not make money. Uh, doing HVAC. Um, it was tough to, to do it by myself, so my father bugged me to uh, go to college. Uh, I then went to university and got a degree in engineering, and um, as time went on, my father passed the book on to me, and I've been writing it uh, ever since. That's fantastic. So the first copyright of modern refrigeration and air conditioning is 1933, um, and it's now in its 21st edition. That's a, that's a longevity you don't hear about very often with textbooks. So congratulations to you and your family on that. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the challenges that instructors might face teaching HVAC and how your book might help to solve some of those challenges? Sure. I'd say the uh, the biggest one, and we've really addressed it in this 21st edition, um, is the soft skills. Um, myself included, when I would be running service, it's it's difficult to deal with the public. It's difficult to deal with customers, and I think today's students are even have a tougher time because they've got so much social media. Uh, and they're behind their phones all day. They're not interacting as much as um, previous generations. So we've added a ton of material, uh, really real-world examples of what to do when you get into a certain situation with a customer, how to react, how to address them. Uh, and I think it's really, really helpful. Um, we, we're obviously very, very strong on the technical in the book, uh, but Bringing all the soft skills into it, I think, is going to really kind of sets us apart. That, that's a great point. And I think that also sets the students apart. You know, when technical skills might be consistent across a number of students, when they're out looking for that job, those soft skills might be what, what seals the deal and what puts them ahead of their uh, competitors looking for those same jobs. So that, that's great that the soft skills have been added. Um, as far as students, um, what are some challenges that students face as they're uh, taking these HVAC courses and preparing for a job as an HVAC technician? Uh, I think some of the, the biggest 
problems they face initially is, is some of the math that's involved really and the science behind um, refrigeration and air conditioning. Um, we, uh, we cover all those aspects up front really early and I think the way we've structured the book helps them to get, get a basic baseline of knowledge on math and some of the chemistry that goes into the refrigerants, the physics of refrigerants, changes of state, how things work. So we start you out really slow, build the background if you don't have it. And a lot of a lot of courses will focus on that right up front to get you everybody up to speed. Uh, because there is also, like I've been in um, our local community college, huge difference in range of capabilities in students today. We have, you, you see a lot of second career people, electricians, pipe fitters, coming into community colleges, night schools, realizing that HVACR is, is a very lucrative field and a, and a very rewarding field. Um, I remember I was taking classes one time with uh, a student that was a journeyman electrician. 25 years in the business at the age of 50 he decided to go into HVAC and then you've got students that are you know limited background in it don't really know anything um, just starting out and no hands-on troubleshooting experience whatsoever so we we cover the full bandwidth and we start them out in a very very sequential manner uh, from small tasks to larger tasks and uh, I think that's very beneficial to the students. That's great. And I know the book, how many pages about is the, is the 21st edition? Do you know offhand? <laughs> no, I know we've got 15 sections of 55 chapters and probably over 1,300 pages now. Um, okay. But what we have done, is we've taken a lot of the material that was reference material and moved it to the back of the book. Um, so as not to just clutter it, so it's it's very well organized, and a lot of technicians you'll see st to this day have their book in their truck, and uh, they'll use it for reference. They'll go back out and get pH diagrams, tables, uh, anything that you need when you're on the job site. It's probably in our book, and uh, it's a very good reference book, and uh, you'll see it in HVAC ER trucks all over the nation. That's a great point. And as we dealt through COVID all of uh, last year and a lot of courses going online or hybrid with a combination of online and print, you bring up a good point. And I think this is an industry where that printed textbook is still so important. And, and I know we get excited too when we hear about um, former students with the book in their trunk or in their, in their uh, truck um, can you tell us a little bit about how the book has evolved from strictly a printed textbook to now the addition of some of the digital components of it? Yeah, we started out originally with our, our workbooks. Uh, first of all, I should say that we were the very first book to use color. <laughs> that was before my time. But modern refrigeration has always kind of been a leader in the field. Um, and I think about six, seven years ago, we started doing some um, PowerPoints and digital animations that would be ac accessories to the book for instructors to, to make their job easier. So we've always had things like that. And then um, we eventually now move to digital and then all digital through Goodhart Wilcox. So all your testing, all your um, quizzes, everything can be done online, everything is recorded online. Uh, with our instructor's package, it makes using the book and, and basically running the class uh, extremely easy for the instructor, much, much easier than it used to be. Um, you also talked to me a little bit about um, different courses that might be appropriate uh, for this course and how many how many different courses could a student take using this book? I'm trying to think of how it could be cost effective for a student. There's so much content. Does it cross over a number of, of courses for them? Yeah, it basically covers everything from, uh, you know, basic electricity through commercial uh, system troubleshooting and everything in between heating everything. Um, and it's, it's utilized. Um, 
in set the reason it's broke down to sections it can be utilized for a three month class a six month program a two year college program so everything from like myself personally has uh was taught on the book years ago uh everything from my high school classes to my college level classes use modern refrigeration and it was used the beauty of using it especially in a two-year program is it covers everything so the student only buys one book we always try and stay up and ahead of the curve um, as a matter of fact i was just writing a uh an addition to one of our chapters uh regarding covid um and uh i just sent that recently out to Goodhart Wilcox. We were gonna try and get that out to the public uh, just as a timely way of providing information on UV lights and how to uh, remediate for COVID, how to increase your ventilation, uh, why HVAC is so important, especially during a pandemic. And our industry really is stepping up to the plate to, uh, to help the nation right now. Uh, but there's a lot of valuable information that we can quickly get out there. And I, I think Goodhart Wilcox has always been open to uh, new information and getting things into the book quickly to uh, to assist the, the students and the instructors. I'm glad you brought that up because I know um, with that additional information that I believe is going to be um, added to the online instructor resources for our, our current users of modern refrigeration, and air conditioning. And um, I think we're all so proud, you know, of HVAC. And when you talk about essential workers and an essential industry, um, that HVAC is, is certainly is. Um, so thank you for providing that extra information for instructors. And they'll be seeing that on their online instructor resource bookshelf um, if they haven't already. So thank you for providing that. Um, it, it really shows your commitment to HVAC and, uh, and, to, the, and to the book itself. So thank you. Writing this book and keeping it up to date is certainly, I'm sure, a labor of love for you, um, and I'm sure can be a daunting task at times with such a with such a large book. Um, can you tell us what motivates you to continue with uh, updating the content and uh, taking on the project from your father and carrying the baton for him? I, I'll tell you what really motivates me is when we're at uh, conferences, whether it's ASHRAE or HVAC Excellence. Um, to have instructors come up to me and say, you know, I was taught on that book. I I have one that's 20 years old and that changed my life. And I've, I've been in classes where I've seen how it does change people's lives. Like I was saying, it, it um, the knowledge that they gain from it, the ability to put food on the table for their family, to, to have people so emotional uh, about how their lives have changed once they got into HVAC and refrigeration. And it's it's just so rewarding. I I absolutely look forward to being able to go to those shows and, and be with the instructors and um they always have me doing book signings. Uh but it's 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 worthwhile. It's 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 what keeps me motivated. It is a ton of work. Every four years we do a new edition almost right on time and it takes that long to revise it so it's uh it's a ton of work but it's uh i love it and it's what i've done my whole life so i wouldn't have it any other way <laughs>